if you are new here, I'm Kanyeti, and if you already watching my One Piece chill channel, welcome back! Today we are starting watching One Piece live action, and I'm really excited for it. I have a bit of a cold, but I just couldn't wait any longer, even with the sore throat. I just want to watch finally this live action, and I really hope that I like it, and I hope you like it too. So obviously, this is going to be like a full follow along reaction so i'm going to put timer and subtitles but you'll need your own copy to watch it and maybe then separately i'll post maybe some highlights in a separate video with the screen but yeah that would be it for the intro let's watch the first episode let's go okay let's see i have two audio tracks here japanese and english i chose english because i think that's how it was filmed Ooh, nice voice. <laughs> I oh gosh, I love the narrator. We saw this in a trailer. The Rogers execution. Oh, he looks so cool. He looks so thin. Oh, I like how his teeth are also yellow. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, this doesn't look good for me. I think I'll be crying non-stop <laughs> if it goes like that. Oh, man. And this is such a cool moment, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's smiling. It's just so exciting to see this all, like, I don't know, in a new form, so to say. Oh. 
his sale also looks so cool. I didn't get any tissues, gosh. Yeah. That's an interesting dialogue, like, you know, like in a theater, like a character would come out on the scene and do his monologue. That's how it feels like. Oh. Well, it, 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 if you saw my reaction to like trailers and everything, you know, I really like how Luffy looks like. Just perfect. <laughs> yes, wait, I remember the better. Gosh, it's been such a long time since I actually reread the first chapters. I don't know if it's for the better or for worse that I didn't read them for a long time. Her ship is so cute. <laughs> oh, Alvida. Oh, and her poster right there. She's so cute. She's too pretty. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're just too pretty. I think I saw her in the trailer already, but like. Um. <laughs> okay. So now, yeah, we'll go through these uh, chapters where we meet Kobe and her map. I don't think I'm spoiling anything for anyone, right? <laughs> Bit louder. Oh, wait. His hair was bright in a trailer. Offended. <laughs> Ooh. Oof. Okay. But the club is very cute. But yeah, I, I don't really like like bloody stuff. I mean, it was mostly of this, of the screen, but oh, I'm so excited. But I think the first, first episode of One Piece anime, I actually watched more recently than I reread the first uh, chapters. So that would kind of reminds me of the anime more. <laughs> like some meat, maybe. <laughs> People, they are different, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I think with that, like, mm 
Okay, I see. So we are kind of showing it in parallel as a flashback. Oh, I didn't see Lucky Roy in the trailer, I think. So this is small Luffy. Oh, his scar. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're going to show it kind of in snippets, I think. Yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> Ew! Kobe's accent is so pretty. <laughs> I feel like in the live action everything looks a bit more gritty, while in the manga I felt it was more goofy. And her voice is very beautiful, by the way. Oof. That's kind of 
said, yeah, the first time we got to see how his fruit looks in the live action. That is... I think it's pretty good. But again, we saw in the trailer a little bit. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> Uh, Kobe run. If <laughs> I feel there is like even some resin sound. It was such a fun moment in manga where she flew so far away. <laughs> I see, oh, we, we got to miss this pretty fast. Okay, 15 minutes in. Sixes Island. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so Zora. Is this his beautiful fingers? Holy shit. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> yeah, like number one, like <laughs> We got a nice sword fight, let's see. Oof. Well, it, yeah, it, it does have like a little bit, a little bit more gore. The scenery is super pretty, though. Okay, so another flash. Ah, now about the fruit, I guess. I 
I think it's gonna look something like. <laughs> Yeah, it's written on his shirt. <sighs> the box is very pretty. It looks tasty. <laughs> I think there was like one piece week in one cafe in my home city. And they had a dessert that looked exactly like Gomu Gomu no Mi. And it was tasty. <laughs> mm. I think they did actually like make this kind of dessert. And he's like, hmm, not bad. <laughs> Oh, and everything is like not inside. It's kind of an open bar, how to say it. Oh, he looks so much cooler. Well, thanks, very, very courteous of you. Like, oh, oopsie, he ate a fruit. To be Marine. Come on, spit it out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
to be honest, like, yeah, Kobe's plotline is one of my most favorite ones in terms of character development. It's always so nice coming back to the beginning of it, you know? Elsewhere in the East Blue. Oh. oh, she's so pretty. Yeah, after all this talk about like navigation, <coughs> we see our navigator. Ah, that's how she swindled these guys. I remember this. Yeah, good thing. <laughs> She's so fast. And they look cool too. I I like how they look. Oh, and how how this is called? Um, long socks. <laughs> I really like them. Oh. Shells down. One hundred fifty force. Third marine, okay, bridge. Bellamy, Foxy, Baggy. Oh. Yeah, why, why am I not here? That was in the trailer too, I remember. <laughs> that was funny. Alvida is here also. how we're kind of going through this Kobe storyline but we got snippets of Nami and Zora and the Baroque works And I guess the way we meet Zora will always also be different. Oh, is this the girl that brought him food? Sh she looked super different in manga, but... Nami also here. She's like, okay, this dude is not easy to swindle. I'm going to go for this one. That must be more easy to swindle. <laughs> Oof. 
Yeah, that's Helmepa. That's... Yeah. <laughs> like, I think the f first time we saw him, we kind of already saw him there tied up. Yes, one for the mouth. Just having fun. Oh, that's entertainment. And that's just like this half corpse sitting there all the time. Ugh. Yeah, I think in terms of size, I have unrealistic expectations, you know, with with Garp and with Morgans. I can't expect to see like this <laughs> huge man. <laughs> Only rice balls. Everyone wants Zara. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I mean... Yeah, he will be a very non-obedient Marine, you know? <laughs> but your phone keeps falling out. Can do it. Then they are good marines and bad, but yeah, like they are bad people and good people. Yeah, they, this makes sense.
that, that was pretty scary. But yeah, so she took, so Nami took uh, the for, uniform of that dude. Look, looks good on her. He looked much wider. <laughs> understanding oh that's so sweet well, nice to meet you Are we going to get his flashback right away too? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not yet. When you could be hanging out there. Those the maps. That's how we are gonna. Can then do this. So that's how we're gonna meet her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's not here. Mm. 
Okay. I'm kind of sad there's not going to be a scene of her like sitting on a building dangling her legs. <laughs> you know? <laughs> ah, that's why. This is um, Helmaps. Uh, Hel Helmaps portrait. <laughs> nice evaders, I guess. Also, I wanted to say that his costume looked more fancy in the... Oh, gosh! Oh, the toy is so cute! Oh, my God! He has good memory. Yeah, totally not suspicious at all. <laughs> when are we going to meet Buggy then? I mean, how? I mean... kind of funny how everyone he meets is kind of against pirates so to say yeah like Kobe said I hate pirates because he was with Elvida obviously then Zora says I'm a pirate hunter then he meets Nami right away and she says obviously that she hates pirates uh, <laughs> and he is like to everyone let's go with me guys yeah painting oh and the snail it looks like a, like a figurine right priorities Good call.
yeah. orange hair is kind of strong sign for reference, you know. <laughs> you know she won't do it fast if you talk to her Just take the whole thing with you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice fighting together, the team already. <laughs> So all of a sudden, is he just going to walk by or help us? Yeah, he's probably gonna join. Let's see. Yeah, they seem to be overpowered. So he did. Oh, that's a cool job. Holy shit. Okay, so they brought the three of them together to fight together. Okay. Kind of speeding it up a little, I guess. Oh, nice music too. Boss battle, okay. <laughs> oh, that was like a western moment. <laughs> With the music and all the eyes. Yes, it is. Oh. 
it must have been hard to do that like in real life <laughs> oh, he has stroke this <laughs> Working as a trampoline. <laughs> Nami is just chilling in the background. That panel where Zora is lifting this huge, like, heavy weight and saying, like, I'm still not strong enough. <laughs> I can't come, I can't come. <laughs> The cut wasn't clean enough, Zora. There's a bit like sticking out. <laughs> I mean, it even looks a bit cool. didn't really participate on this island as much um i felt like it was a bit more intimate in the manga and i think we even have had like to encourage him because kind of he also participated with us so he felt like mm, he can't really get with the marines because he was kind of no, not an upstanding citizen, but then, okay, here, okay, I think they are um, trying to compress everything a little bit, so, whoa, looks super cool. Oh, okay, so the snail <laughs> kind of creepy. Yeah, we know. A map. His ship looks super cool, by the way, like, this figurehead, so good. He does look a bit wider now, okay. <laughs>
Yeah, we saw him in the bar. And the bar get oh. Mm-hmm. So that's the angle we are going with. I'm a, I, I am a bit shocked. Okay. This season... I am going to watch it. Well, that's like an additional trailer. I wonder how it feels to watch this when you didn't read uh, One Piece or like watch One Piece anyway. Watch all episodes now. Okay. Back to the credits. Yeah, the credits are really pretty, but I don't think there will be any additional scenes. So I just put them on the side a little bit and maybe talk a little. Uh, yeah, so to be honest, I really like this very first chapter. So with Kobe, where we meet Kobe and Hilmepo also. And um, I felt like... As I said, again, like full disclosure, it's been a while since I read this chapter, so I don't remember every detail perfectly, but I felt like because they wanted to introduce um, the, the first three members of the crew as soon as possible, also nice touch, tangerines on the map there uh, in the credits, they uh, kind of a bit sidelined Kobe. In my opinion, also, I think in the anime adaptation, I only watched like the very first episode. I didn't watch like the second episode, the third episode. So I'm not sure how everything was in the anime, but I assume it was a pretty close adaptation of manga. But here we are going a little bit in a different direction. And I'm like... Not commenting on it too much, because when I was going into the live action, I was trying to go in with the idea that it's a bit of a parallel universe and everything is going to be a little different and I shouldn't just expect it to be a complete, you know, like panel by panel adaptation. And I'm not expecting it to be like this. And I liked this first episode. It was super exciting. It's crazy to see everything like in live action, you know, in, in real life. Uh, it's a special feeling. I just, it makes me wonder how would it feel to watch this and not subconsciously continuing to compare to the original that I already know, you know, that would, that is a bit like something maybe I want to work on because still when I see it in my mind, I think, okay, and in manga it was like this. And this is not how it was in manga. And I'm like, okay. But I think in general, it was pretty good. Yeah, maybe I would have wanted uh, a bit more of Kobe here. I feel like he was, as I said, off screen a bit too much. But aside from that, I think everything was done really well, really beautifully. And I enjoyed it a lot. And I think it made sense how they presented everything. And we 
got to see, like, we got to see, obviously, the execution of Roger, we saw Garp, um, we saw Shanks, so a little bit on Luffy and, like, his fruit and his scar. And I guess we'll see about Shanks' hand also in the another flashback. And also, yeah, like, uh, that moment, yeah, with uh, where... Uh, these pirates, I actually forgot the name of this dude who like broke a bottle and then uh, abused Luffy <laughs> and stuff like that um, in this village. I forgot his name. From, I like, I remember him as a character, but I don't remember his name. Uh, yeah, so that's probably gonna be in the flashback where Shanks loses his hand. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I don't know why my earphone keeps falling out of my ear. Uh, but it's a bit hard to talk when both my ears are closed uh, with the sound. Uh, but the sounds also in this adaptation, I really liked the music. And I really liked, like, I shouldn't call it voice acting, as it's like <laughs> no, not an animated <laughs> feature but uh, all the voices were so good like how they talk it was so pleasant to listen to i think the only moment maybe like with child luffy when he was talking b before he gave himself a scar felt maybe lines felt a just a little bit forced but he's a kid obviously so that's um, not surprising but overall i really enjoyed everyone's acting and um, buggy in the end uh, i liked how he said and laughed like everything was perfect and yeah we saw a uh, young mihawk i think in the beginning and young shanks and some other pirates in the crowd uh, with roger and roger himself uh, he looked uh, super cool, obviously, yeah, I already saw him in the trailer as well, uh, but I liked how they also gave him, like, this yellow teeth, uh, which <laughs> I feel like they are trying to show a little bit more of, like, the reality of pirate life, uh, that's why there was just a little bit more gore, I feel like, than in manga, and um, um, I feel like the how the characters look and these details like teeth, clothes, hair, um, they represent pretty well this kind of life on the sea. Uh, that's also partly why I said that it feels more gritty than the manga. And again, as you see, I'm comparing it to manga, but I just can't help it. But if I try to distance myself from the original and again i kind of felt like i shouldn't reread the first chapters the first arc the, the east blue and because exactly because then i would remember everything too well and then it would be just a hell comparing everything uh, so i feel like it's better that i don't remember it perfectly so um, I feel more immersed in what's going on. Uh, the scenes were really beautiful. That scene with Zora and like lighting of these candles, that was super pretty. And I feel like it's interesting how they took some uh, classic, I would say, not tropes, but in Zora's scene, when we first saw him, there was something like from a Japanese samurai film. Um, and in the scene uh, with Morgans and Nawatria, there was something from like, you know, the spaghetti westerns, I think they're called. Um, and like these elements from different genres of film, I feel they um, were very nice to see and they worked really well here. Everything, all the like ships and all the sceneries, everything constructed, the sea itself, everything looks super perfect. I just, I, <laughs> um, they made it super beautiful. Like the actors themselves, the designs they um, made look perfect. And the sounds, the music, this... Um, angles of scenes, you know, this influence from different genres, uh, just literally everything 
the snails, I think this is a hard thing maybe to adapt. Was I expecting to see like a real life snail? I guess that would be too small. There are big snails though. But when we saw that snail in Captain Morgan's office, I was like, okay, I can see that it is not a living thing. Then we saw on the Garp's ship and it looked more like a living thing. Uh, so I felt... Yeah, I would prefer to see it like this, even if it looks a bit creepy. I'm glad that it looked like alive because it is a living creature. And yeah, in Morgan's it was like, okay, just a statuette, how to say it? Yeah, the figurine. Uh, but yeah, my, my nose isn't working at all. <laughs> I, I can only breathe from my mouth. So I think I'll probably leave the second episode for the next time, maybe when i get a little i feel a little bit better and yeah it's pretty long it's one hour and i'm just continuing talking but i feel like there's a lot i have to say about this and just i could talk for an hour or more because i really enjoy this but i feel like maybe i've watched all the episodes they dropped first and i could do some of like general review video in the end where i talk about like my feelings on this adaptation and everything so for now please uh, share your thoughts on this first episodes in the comments uh, how do you feel about this did you enjoy this yeah i did enjoy it a lot to be honest it was such a treat and when the episode ended i was like oh, already <laughs> that was so fast even though it was a whole hour i was thoroughly entertained and i feel like this is going to be a very emotional journey like every time i see the emotional moments of one piece they never get old for me every time every damn time i have these strong feelings and i start crying <laughs> on sad moments on epic moments uh, you know it's just uh, you know so deep in my heart this universe and it is pretty magical to see it you know in in the live action on the screen as it is a completely different experience and i feel like i'm glad that they did it i was really excited for it i was scared because i know there were some bad live action adaptations of the anime but so far i'm enjoying this we'll see how the next episodes go i'm crying again okay time to stop so yeah as i said share your thoughts but that would be it for today so thank you for watching and see ya mm -hmm.